What's up everyone? It's Gavin Ayala. So today we're gonna cut right to it. I got in the mail my Osmo Pocket. I ordered this thing the day it came out. I'm super excited. Let's open it up. Let's get my first impressions. It's brand new. It's still in the plastic. Let's check it out, man. I haven't even seen it yet, so I'm excited. We're gonna take this off. So, little paper box. Let's open it together. I almost dropped it, huh? All right, cool. So this weekend, we're really gonna test this thing out in an action sports environment. Normally, I'd be using my other DJI product, the Ronin S, which I just got paired with my a7 III, which I'm shooting on now. But this weekend, we're really just gonna try to see how cinematic we can get, see how, how it performs. Again, I haven't even used this yet. And uh, we'll see what we can get. So I'm gonna film the rest of the video on this. I just gotta charge it up, get it started up, and then stay tuned. Osmo Pocket, check it out. All right, we're here. Supercross. So, I actually just pushed record for the first time on this Osmo Pocket. And we ended up coming out today with Martin Costello, my roommate, and we are at the private Suzuki Supercross track. Uh, he rides for Suzuki now for Supercross, so we're gonna do some filming with him and should get some good action, see how good this camera does. Martin. Sad, dude. You're looking fabulous. Thank you. So here's our talent today, Martin Costello from Ecuador, riding for Team Suzuki. What's up, guys? This is Martin Costello. Uh, I'm a professional motocross and supercross racer from Ecuador. I ride for Team Bar X Twisted Development Factory Suzuki Racing. Uh, today we're here at the private factory Suzuki test track, and we're gonna be hanging out with Gavin for the day. Again, I'm filming on the Osmo Pocket. We'll be shooting 4K at 60 frames. One thing I'm noticing is when you're in 4K, you don't have any face tracking. So when I'm turning, you kind of got to turn it with you. Curious to see how much of my face gets cropped out. Because obviously on the display, it's just a square. And we're shooting in 16.9. So I'm assuming it's just wider than the display. Right now, Martin's just getting warmed up. So I just found a feature on here that allows me to change it to a widescreen instead of a square, which for me, I like. So I'm gonna try to get another shot here in the whoops. And it's a good shot for me to be able to run parallel with Martin when he goes by. And it'd be cool as I'm wearing the GoPro Hero 7 and we'll basically get a test on the stabilization on that camera as well. So we're about, he's about to come around and hit the whoops. And I'll get him and I'll run next to him, filming on both cameras. Here it comes. I just changed the settings again on this. I found to fast follow and slow follow. Earlier I was saying I think it the motor speed's too slow, but you do fast follow and you're good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Martino rocked the chesty. We're gonna test out the the steady hyper gimbal thing, whatever they got going on. Hyper gimbal. Hyper gimbal. Actually, I don't know what is it. Hyper smooth. Hyper smooth gimbal. Gimbal. No, it's not gimbal. <laughs> GoPro. All right, this needs to be tightened. So we'll get a little bit of a comparison out of today's footage with the GoPro 7 against the Osmo Pocket. All right. So I think we're done. We're good. I got enough uh, footage at the track with Martin. Got through his warm up at least. But <laughs> it was fun. So we, we tested out the Osmo Pocket. I even got some GoPro 7 clips in there with Martin. A little onboard action. But uh, we'll see what we can do with it. I uh, learned a few things on it as I was using it. That's a wrap. So I just realized if you put this thing in FPV mode, for your tilting and your rolling, it actually allows you to do like an infinity roll when you tilt it left or right, almost like the Ronin S, where you can kind of roll it like that. But you have to put it in FPV mode and you can get rolling shots like this. Pretty cool. And I wish I kind of knew about that when I was filming motocross over there because I like that movement a lot. So pretty cool find for myself all right guys the test went great got some awesome footage definitely need to get used to this thing a little bit more to the motor speeds and everything else to get better shots but you know off the bat i liked it the one thing i noticed though was the audio wasn't that great it seems to adjust its levels automatically or in the wind especially it's not good oh well, you can't really expect too much out of it but uh i'm hoping that DJI created some sort of uh, attachment and then you can plug in a mic and it'll be good to go. But in the end, if you want to take this with you and go to the track and just film some cool stuff, it's definitely the way to go if you want something that you can just throw in your pocket and get some really cool gimbal shots. For me personally, I'm going to use it for my traveling and a lot of other things, but I'll stick to my GoPros and other cameras for the stuff that I film. But again, Osmo Pocket, it's going to live in my pocket and we're going to be all over the place. we got some trips coming up. So anyway, I hope this video was useful to you and you were able to just at least see some of the footage that it can do uh, say at a motocross track or any kind of action sport fast movements and uh, hopefully uh, you guys get something out of this so subscribe check out my channel we got more stuff let me know if you like these reviews and these tests like this and I can do more of them definitely not really this is my first one so hope you enjoy it cool thanks guys peace